Hey everyone, it's Ashley Gilligan, Independent Manager with Pink Zebra, and in this video we are going to talk about shipping costs and how to calculate your tax and shipping on orders that you are combining with other orders, um, also known as a bulk order. So the reason why I decided to make this video is because um, throughout my whole Pink Zebra journey, I always see consultants, and it's typically newer consultants, um, complaining about the shipping cost. Um, sometimes it's older consultants uh, complaining about the shipping cost, and um, a lot of newer consultants are not aware that you know you can combine orders to save your customers on shipping. So typically, what I see is somebody complaining about you know a customer having to pay eight dollars for shipping for one jar of sprinkles. Um, Newsflash, you don't have to do that, I promise. Um, there is an easy way to do this and a really great way to approach your customers about the shipping discount. So if you didn't already know, Pink Zebra Shipping is only $8 flat for any order under $80. Anything above $80 is 10%. So an $80 order or below is only $8 flat. So if you're only placing a $10 order, yes, you are stuck paying the $8 for shipping. But um, what people need to realize is that when you combine orders, you are actually paying less for shipping. So let's just say that you had two people that wanted to order sprinkles, um, and each order came out to $25. Now, if you were to charge them only $2.50 for shipping, which is 10%, uh, you would obviously have to cover the difference, the $3 difference. But... Um, in that case, what I typically would do is I would just charge them $4 each for shipping. That way I'm not covering the shipping costs. Um, but typically you're going to want to try to combine as many orders as you can to, you know, obviously save the most money on shipping. So with the 10% after $80, if you have an order that is $100, the shipping bumps up to $10. Now, um, on the topic of our shipping costs, I have personally worked for a UPS store and my main job was to ship packages. Um, so I have experienced a lot of different size packages, different, you know, heights and weights and stuff like that. And I can tell you that the $8 shipping that Pink Zebra charges is so, so, so reasonable. Okay, so um, if you think about it this way, uh, $80 worth of product would be equal to about 10 jars of sprinkles. Think about how heavy 10 jars of sprinkles are. If you were to put those in a box, um, that's going to be a lot of weight. And so $8 for shipping for that is not bad. And I've actually personally experienced shipping two jars of sprinkles um, at the post office, and that still came out to be like $11 or $12. So the $8 shipping is a good price. Um, you've just got to kind of learn how to talk to your customers about shipping if they are having any um, concerns about the shipping cost. So I want to go ahead and show you how to calculate the shipping because I get that question a lot in my team group and I want to make sure that everybody out there who is a Pink Zebra consultant um, knows how to properly calculate shipping when you are doing bulk orders for your customers. So I've got a few things written down right here. Um, hang on, I have a notification popped up on my phone. I want to get that out of the way because it's distracting. Um, so okay, so we're just going to hypothetically say that you have someone who wants to order just two jars of sprinkles. So this is going to be how you calculate their order. Okay, so at the top here I have it written. Um, somebody ordered two jars of sprinkles and the jars are eight dollars each and they're getting two. So that gives me uh, sixteen dollars which is the subtotal. Okay, so you're also going to add uh, your shipping cost. So shipping costs, like I said, you're going to charge them 10%. And the reason why you're doing this um, is because they need to pay 10% of their order. So if you have several people placing an order and it all adds up to $80 or more, it's 10%. So 10% of $16 is $1.60. See that right here. And then I've got the tax at $1.33. And then once I added up all this, that is the total that I got. So now I'm going to show you how to calculate the sales tax because this sometimes is the hardest thing for people to try to understand. A um, couple notes here is in back office, um, I definitely highly recommend you doing this to figure out your sales tax. You can of course Google what your sales tax is in your area, but that may not match what Pink Zebra has it at in back office. So what you're going to want to do is log into your back office, hit reports, and all the way at the bottom of reports, is it resources or reports? Pretty sure it's reports, but if it's not, check resources, but I'm 99% sure it's reports. Go all the way to the bottom of the drop-down tab, and it's going to say sales tax lookup. 
click on that and then what you're going to do is you're going to put in the zip code of where the box is shipping which probably is to you so type in the zip code and then it's going to show you the exact sales tax so i live in willard missouri and my sales tax is 7.6 percent so the way that i have calculated this um, is i have taken the subtotal of 16 dollars and i've added it to my shipping costs in missouri um, tax is on shipping so shipping is taxed so I'm going to add my subtotal to my shipping um, which is $17.60 so there's a couple ways you can figure the sales tax this is the way that I do it if you would prefer to work in decimals feel free to do that I'm not good with decimals at all I'm not even good with math but I can figure this out so if I can do this you can do this too um, but this is how I calculate my percentage so I take that $17.60 remember that's the subtotal plus shipping and I times it by 7.6, which is my shipping percentage, and divide that by 100, and that gives me $1.33 for tax. So now I am going to add my subtotal, 16, shipping, $1.60, and my tax in $1.33, and that's going to give me my total, um, which is the $18.93. It's backwards on my phone, so I have to look at the paper. Um, so that gives me $18.93. So $18.93 is what I personally would charge my customer for two jars of sprinkles. Then what I'm going to do um, is collect the $18.93. And the way that I typically accept payment is either cash, check, or PayPal. And I recommend PayPal for um, services just because PayPal actually issues you a personal business debit card. I like this option. I know that Square is another option too that some people prefer, but PayPal has just been my go-to because it's been really easy. So you have to log into PayPal, create an account, and request a business debit card. So it also has a card reader, so all I have to do is grab my phone. I can swipe um, their debit card or I can punch in the number. And then that automatically goes into my PayPal account. And then in turn, I can go into the Pink Zebra website, use my little debit card, punch in the number for that and pay for it that way. And then it's taken out of my PayPal account. So I just prefer to use PayPal. Um, I don't have anything against Square. I've never used it. I just really don't want a hassle setting something else up. So that's why I haven't switched over. I do know that Square has a thing where I think it's like for every referral, you get like $1,000 in free transactions since typically you do have to pay for the transactions. But I haven't even meddled in that because um, I've been comfortable with PayPal. So that is how to uh, calculate the sales tax. And one more thing I wanted to mention too about the um, taxing on shipping is that not every state does that. I know I said that earlier, but... I want to elaborate a little bit on that. Um, so check with your state to see if your state does charge sales tax. I'm pretty sure that Washington doesn't, and I, or maybe it's Oregon. I really don't know. Um, so you have to do that research yourself. Go to Google and just figure out what states don't have sales tax. And, oh, I know that Montana definitely doesn't. Montana and Oregon, Washington maybe? I'm not sure. Um, don't quote me on this, please. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this. I hope it was helpful to you. Um, I wish that I could have found a video like this when I first started because I know it's so overwhelming when you first begin Pink Zebra and you're trying to figure out, you know, everything and all the little tips and tricks and stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye and make sure that you're in my um, Pink Zebra website training group too. I post a lot of unlisted uh, and secret videos there for back office training, and that is facebook.com slash PZ website training. Thank you guys. See you later. Bye. It's a beautiful day today. It's like 71 degrees. It's so nice. So nice. It's November, and it's 71 degrees.